guys, so for today's tutorial it's going to be Back to School meets Doctor Who and we are going to do a book, notebook or agenda makeover, whatever you wish to transform to uh, show your love for the doctor at school and hopefully look cool, um, yeah, or maybe geeky at best. So let's get started with what you need. Alright, so you will need a book, notebook or an agenda. Some acrylic paint, paint brushes, Mod Podge or varnish or gloss of any kind, some craft foam, tissue paper, and a glue gun and glue sticks. So it's time to decide on the design. So I have drawn mine on, and as you can see, I have all the little panels already drawn in and cut. So that will really depend on the size of your book or your notebook or your agenda. So that's up to you. For myself, how I did it is I got the middle part of my book. I divided it in three sections and then from there I figured out how big my panels would be. For the little window panel, just like this, you can see it's divided in six mini panels as well. And that I'm just going to cut it slightly a little section for each with my exacto knife to have a little effect later. So that's how it looks like and that's all cut and glued and I also glued some stuff on some foam on the side to get a little bit more effect. Now everything is glued down so you have two options or you go straight away on a base coat or you will go with some tissue paper, a layer of it. I always like to have a layer of tissue paper. It gives a nice consistency. It seals off all those little edges. And when it wrinkles a bit, it, it gives a nice um, kind of a leather impression. I need PVA glue. And do it by section, because if you do everything, you cover everything with PVA glue, it might be a bit, a tad frustrating, so. There's no going back after this, so make sure you know that it's what you want, so. so you're just going to tap gently. Don't go too strongly because it's going to rip very easily. So by now, your book should look like this. Um, yes, it's a bit gross. It's like it has some dead skin all over it. Uh, I also put cling film around the pages to protect it because I'm such a messy crafter. And by the end of this video, I'm going to be covered in paint. So yeah, I don't know how people can do to be clean crafters because that never happens to me. I don't know, does it happen to you? I don't know. Also, you need a base coat and usually to go about this, black or white is usually the options. That's the book with one layer of white and as you can see it's a bit wrinkled there because uh, I cheated a bit and I dried it with my hair dryer. But I like the effect that it gives, it's like wood a bit so I'm going to keep it that way but you can put any other coat if you want. I am going to put a layer of this blue there. I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go all around except for the window that is going to be put with another layer of white. What it looks like with two coats of the blue. You're going to take your blue and the same blue as you use for your base and you're going to mix it with a tiny bit of silver. It's just to highlight a bit of everything. And White is not the only option to lighten colors, so gray is a good alternative as well. And what you're going to do is just grab a very small bit of color and then go around on all the edges 
and all the wrinkles and everything around very with a slight stroke and you keep on going that way and that way it will highlight all the little wrinkles all the little crease it will give more depth to it i'm going to show you how to apply the silvery gray blue paint on the book and as you can see i have it done here already and i have it done on the on the cover but not really on the spine so um, it's just a matter of getting a bit of your mix paint on and if you have too much I usually use my finger that's a bad habit that I got but it's a good way to uh, get it done so scrape it and then run along, run along all the edges and you won't have much paint so it's just going to uh, get a tiny bit on the edges and then you're going to do it on the spine itself and because you don't have much paint it's just going to be slightly I don't know if you can see it properly but yeah you can see it you have just like a, a shimmer of silver and that's what you want because that way your original color will stay and you will see all the details a lot better and it's going to make it a lot more interesting later for you. We are going to bind the whole thing together with um, a kind of a wash. So don't worry too much about not being perfect. Okay, so that's our book so far with a uh, slight shading. Now we need to suggest that there is some light coming through the windows. And if you think about how um, light shines through an object, 3D object, it's, it's actually easier to think about it. So in this case, the light will shine on the top of each panel. So you're going to mix a bit of blue with a lot more silver this time. And don't put too much paint on your brush and use also a brush that you, you're not afraid to destroy because you need to just brush it off. And you can also do the side and the corners and um, all the sharp um, corners on the spine and that's going to show a bit of wear so it's going to give a bit more depth to your book. So next we need to bind all those colors together and we are going to give it a wash. Usually uh, you use uh, some ink for it but I didn't have any so paint will do. And you're going to take a tiny bit of black and mix it with a bit of water. So you have to get it quite diluted and you're going to uh, apply this wash to the whole book. Now it's time to look after your windows and you're going to need a bit of absorbent paper, toilet paper or kitchen towel and you're going to take your wash that you used earlier and you're going to apply it to the window and as you can see all the cut that you made to do the different panels are going to be highlighted in a darker color so it saves you the trouble to have to draw each panel on then what you're going to do is take your absorbent paper and dab it on the wet area just slightly sorry my vid my camera is out of focus and you're just going to dab it and then do the process again until you get the coloring that you want
So by now it could be finished, but I wanted uh, my book to show a bit of wear and a bit of dirt. So just to give the impression it was around for a while. So I'm going to use black and brown mixed together and take a bit of cling film. I'm going to roll it into a bowl and dab it into the paint. Don't take too much paint. And I'm going to apply it where I think it should be dirty. So really, it's up to you. And once you're done, you can actually glaze it or varnish it or mop put it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question at all, you can leave us a comment down below. As well, you can say hi to us on our newly made Facebook page, which I'm going to leave a link down on the description box. You can also follow CraftGaver on Twitter and Instagram just to see what's to come. Also, you can leave us a comment on what you'd like to see done here on this channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more tutorials. So I'll see you soon and bye!